Hey, what's up, y'all? This is John Michael, and you already know I got soul. You know I got soul.com. Yeah, let's go. You're here at the Soul Factory. You just performed. You know, you've been doing these shows in New York. You know, Soul Village, BB King, Samoa's opening. Yeah. What's it like building yourself up as an artist through that? And you know, kind of building your reputation. What's it been like? Uh, I mean, it's, it's, in New York, it's really great because you get you get like a uh, kind of instant gratification. You know what I mean? Right. Especially with social media because different shows I do, I'll, I'll tell the crowd to like you know go on my Instagram, go on my Twitter, and when it's in New York, it's like you know people are already on it, so it's pretty cool. When I do it here, you know, it, it helps me build my fan base a lot quicker and then build a buzz so people know when they see that CD on the shelf or hear the song on the radio, they know it's me and that's really right. what it's all about. Right, and of course your music's being played right now on some major outlets. Sirius is playing the Sydney Skate Lady, Music Choice, you know, some other things. What is that feeling like hearing your music? Uh, I mean, it's great. I mean, I remember the first time I heard myself on the radio, it was like last year. Sometime like around last year, like maybe maybe like May, April, and um, I mean it was just it was a weird feeling because I remember not just, like a few years ago I was listening to the radio and I'm just be like you know what it's gonna take for me to get on radio like why won't they right. what do I have to do I had like no idea of how to even accomplish that so I mean it's just one of those cool feelings but at the same time I just I take everything in stride so I'm just focused on what's next right. Yeah. And right now you have uh, the John Michael EP. Yeah, um, that's doing well. The uh, John Michael EP, that's our um, downtown locker rooms guy. A lot of stores around the country, um, you know, DBS Sounds, Blues Music, BK Music in Richmond, Virginia. Um, where else? Uh, just all over the place. And uh, online, uh, iTunes, Amazon, uh, JohnMichaelMusic.com. With social media, you know, you get the instant feedback from fans and, and fans who found you. You know, what yeah. have you been getting? You talk about that. I mean, it's really cool. Like Instagram, I think is the best because yeah. it's not only my favorite, but I get really cool feedback. Like I was on Instagram, and it they didn't even hit me up. They like tagged sophisticated lady, and it was a lady, and she was just like self with the self portrait yeah. thing, and she did the video, and she was just like grooving to it or whatever. And you know, she didn't even tag me. She was just. Putting it up, you yeah. know what I mean? I like those the, the best where they're not trying to get my attention. They're just really liking the music. Right. Yeah. So cool. So, so just to take it back a little bit, I know you you started out working as a writer mm -hmm. and, and and writing for other artists. You know, how did you originally start getting those opportunities? Um, <laughs> word of mouth, really. Yeah. Um, I was kind of I never stopped considering myself an artist. It was just more so like coming from Fredericksburg, Virginia is really hard. You know. Just, there's nobody in Fredericksburg, Virginia. It's like a, it's not a tiny town, but it's like it's one of them towns where nobody does anything except for like nine to five job. You know what I mean? Like when I go home, when people if I if I meet somebody in my town that doesn't know what I'm doing, and I tell them like I do music, they like laugh about it because they don't know. To them, it's so far fetched. Like if you live in New York, you live in L.A., you live in Chicago or Miami, and you tell somebody you're an actor, you're a singer, they have a, in their mind they're like, well maybe this is somebody that's famous. I just don't know them yet. But where I'm from, that's like it's a joke to them, you know what I mean? Right. So, you know, it's really hard to make it out of Fredericksburg, Virginia, yeah. in a lot of small towns. But so I just, I in my mind, I was like, I would rather just stay in the studio than to focus on like the, like the open mic circuit around Fredericksburg. And um, so I wouldn't do so much of that. I would just stay in the studio. I built my own, learn how to engineer vocals, um, learn how to. Uh, arrange everything right. basically you know I could make beats but I don't really do that too often but it was just kind of out of necessity and then I was working have a son you know I was doing like online school the only way I could pursue music and keep doing it and not be slacking and just doing it once every month is to just write right. so that's what I do and I would do it online and like sites like soundclick.com that's like the main one and um, I would link up with these producers and producers have like this really tight knit on the internet. You know, they live different countries, different states, but they all communicate with each other. So like, I do something for like J Rum, or I do something for Emotional, or um, Nine Diamond, or people like Scarecrow, and their producer friends would be like, "Yo, who was that?" And then they'd be like, "All right, what's his email?" Yeah. Hit me up. Next thing you know, I'm like doing like placement work. Right. Yeah. Cool. So now that the EP's been out for a little while, you know, what are you looking to do next? Uh, well, I got the album Sophisticated, that's what it's called, it's wrapped up, it's coming out September 24th, and uh, I'm working on a mixtape now, so I think I got like 14, 15 tracks so far, so 
by this time next week I'll be doing the mixtape. And you know, mixtape I'll just put that out, you know. Just, yeah. I'm not gonna make people wait for that. And um that's just gonna be a different look, you know, just having fun, kinda going on different people's beats. It's mostly just like a beat jacket type of thing where I, you know, just take popular songs and remix them. And then September twenty fourth the album's gonna come out. So September twenty fourth, that's coming up, you know, real soon. Yeah. What well, can you tell us about the project? Um, it's great. I mean it's 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 so exciting for me because you know, I've been pushing the EP for like um, close to a year now, and and people love the EP, and I love the EP, but it's it's an EP, you know, it's not that many songs. So I'm just like looking forward to people like finding out like this guy really can make some good songs. Like the whole album, I think you'd be able to listen to it straight through. And it's right. just like I, I don't go in the studio like I need to make a hit, right? But I feel like my songs have a hit quality to them, like like a timeless quality, because I'm very conscious of that when I write. I don't want to. I don't want to scare people away. I want to be very accessible to them. So each song is going to be like, you know, you can, each one, somebody might have a favorite song for each track, you know what I mean? Right. Cool. So you're release, releasing this project independently? Or yeah. are, are you even well, considering? Like, In Grooves, Fontana's releasing it, but it's independent through Top Notch Music. And I mean, to be honest, that's the best route nowadays, especially with R&B, because people are so, like, they don't know what to do with R&B anymore. It's, and it's funny because people love it still, you know what I mean? Like even like Robin Thicke's song, Blurred Lines, is what is that, like the number one song in the country. It, it doesn't have any techno, it doesn't have any, it's live instruments, and it sounds like just regular old music that some people were written off already. But I think, you know, doing independent, it allows people like myself to get pushed out to the forefront and not have to wait in line or change my style. All right, I guess it's finally to wrap up. You know, I've heard your music. I know it has like a lot of feeling to it. But for those who haven't had a chance to hear it yet, what do you what do you want people to feel when they listen to a John Michael song? Um, I feel like music at the end of the day, regardless of where the industry is, where it's all about making somebody famous, you know, what I mean? so that they can make money off of you. That's that's how it goes. But I think the essence of music is to fill the room, fill the atmosphere when you're at a cookout at a funeral, a wedding, when you're just chilling, whatever you're doing, like music fills the air and that's what like my music when you listen to the album, each song it sets the mood for something and you can listen to it in different parts of your day. You can listen to it if you're doing the dishes, listen to it if you're cleaning up, listen to it if you're driving, you know, on your way back from the club, you know what I mean? Just it's just that's what it's for, you know, it's 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 all about like the soundtrack of your life, because everybody feels like they're actor in their own life, you know, nobody feels like they're a side character. You you, you are the center character of the universe, and music is the soundtrack, and that's what, that's what the album is. Well, that is, that's perfect. So, anything you want to add? Um, you know, keep hitting me up on uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and like, I, I like finding fans a lot of times, especially coming up, you know, people like music, but they don't know who makes it, so I, I, if you tag something, just make sure you tag it, like, that's, that's very important, I always tell fans to tag things, because the internet now, like, Twitter has revolutionized things, and Facebook's doing it, Vine, Instagram, you, when you tag things, you're indexing it, so, so the person that's making it, whether it's music, food, clothes, they can find you, and they can, they can, build on what they're doing and find out what, what it is that's good, what it is that's bad or whatever. So just make sure you tag everything. That's what I, what I said. All right, cool. And